Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. So, there have been a few leaks relating to two new ships, including potential pricing, so let us take a look. As always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and channel members who allow me to make these kinds of videos, in particular to my latest two new channel members, 4K Gaming Channel and Roleplay Gamer TV. Thank you guys so much for the support. So with the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo approaching, there have been some leaked prices for some of the upcoming ships that have been going around, which are the Consolidated Outland Nomad and the newly named RSI Perseus, plus the new price of the Star Runner. Let us kick off with the ship that I'm most looking forward to seeing first, and that is the Consolidated Outland Nomad. It has been speculated on for a while now, and last we heard it was a starter industry ship with a couple of game packages leaked. One of them called the Mobile Chop Shop game package, and the other is the Independent Haulers Pack. Well, the SE Leaks channel are now 99% sure that this is a starter refinery ship, stating that a new ship package has popped up that pretty much confirms this. The new pack is called the Refined Collector Pack, which is quite obviously hinting towards a refinery ship. This was one of the four remaining ships mentioned at last year's CitizenCon, and I wonder if the Mobile Chop Shop and Independent Haulers Packs are perhaps variants of the Nomad. We don't know yet, but we'll find out, I'm sure. So pricing without the starter pack for the Nomad as a standalone ship is $70 war bond or $80 with credit. It is $85 war bond for a PU starter package and this will be straight to flyable and expected in 311.1 with it being in the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo but it should come before that event so do expect to see it pretty soon in fact. It's confirmed to have internals as it has a toilet, it has a retractable cargo bay like an elevator, think along the lines of the Constellation series, and it's enterable via a ladder. There is a bulkhead dividing the cargo bay and it also has some corridors, but it's not too big, larger than an Avenger, but very unlikely to be much bigger due to its pricing. It also mentions it has a large pipe of some kind. So as a refinery ship, if that is the case, this means not only will we have refinery decks for this new mechanic in 3.12, but also a dedicated refinery ship in 3.11.1. Now, this ship will be very reliant on other ships to make money. Simply owning one would mean that you'll likely need to work with mining ships to turn a profit. Maybe they'll be implementing a refinery beacon so the Nomad owners can alert miners to their presence or maybe the other way around if a miner is looking for a Nomad or a ref refinery they could put out a beacon asking for one. But personally I do love the idea of this as it drives that emergent gameplay that CIG keep talking about of players making jobs for other players. But I would also expect down the line once the AI is ready we could be doing the same with the NPCs. Now what I want to know is how it's actually going to work with the Prospector or the Argo Mole. Is it going to be extracting ore from the saddlebags? Or are we going to be able to drop the saddlebags and use maybe a tractor beam to pick them up? More questions have been raised really. Uh, but it might just be a simple refinery ship to work alongside just the ROC. We just do not know yet. There is mention of a large pipe which could be used to connect to a saddlebag perhaps. But as I say, it's not known yet, so we won't speculate too much. Whatever it is though, and whatever it does, it will be interesting to see Consolidated Outlands design more, as we only have the Mustangs in-game right now to give us that style guide, and only the Mustang Beta has the interior. So next up is the Perseus, which was originally known as the RSI Odin, and then the RSI Gunboat or Gunship. This is the large broadside combat vessel. There were some audio files of an announcer at the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo mentioning the RSI Perseus, so there is definitely a good chance we will see it at that event. Whether it's a hologram display or if it's the actual ship is unknown, I would assume it's going to be the hologram with it being such a big ship and most likely not flyable, but we don't know yet. Perseus in Greek mythology is a god and the slayer of monsters, so the name seems to indicate maybe this ship can be used against capital ships like the Idris, for example. Whether that is the case is unknown at this time, as we have no official word of its actual role, but it is looking promising. So pricing for the Perseus, it is $600 war bond, $675 regular, which actually places it below the Nautilus, the Polaris and the Hammerhead. The Hammerhead was $625 at launch and is now $700. They're not sure if the Perseus will have a limited hull sale, but to be honest, I would expect it as all other military ships did. But do bear in mind that all these prices are leaked prices, so they could change later down the line. 
Finally, the Star Runner is said to be $225 war bond, which was its original concept price, but it is now around $260, I think they said, non-war bond. Either way, we will be picking one up to give away. So that is it for the leaks. It is pretty exciting to see a refinery ship coming if this is the case. And although I'm personally not bothered for the Perseus, it will be great to see it nonetheless. Now I'm really excited to see how refining is going to work in this game and just how it connects that gameplay loop of mining and cargo hauling, hopefully connecting it up with the refining so that we can all come together and work to make some profit. We will probably be discussing these leaks further on stream today, so be sure to follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash Ryan if you would like to join in. Also, as I mentioned earlier, we will be giving away a Mercury Star Runner once it becomes available for sale, so make sure you are subscribed here on my YouTube channel, and tick that notification bell if you would like to be notified when my videos go live. Also, if you don't mind, do me a big favour and hit that thumbs up, really appreciate that. Thank you again to my patrons and channel members, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.